Hey, what's going on, guys? Welcome back to another video. In this video, we're going to be looking at another method to bypass Bifron. Some people were struggling with the Fiddler and HTTP debugger method, so I do have another method for you today. The good thing about this method is that it's permanent, so you don't have to do this every time you open Roblox. You just have to do it one time and it will stay permanently. So as always, before you get started with the downloads, you do need to turn off your virus and threat protection from settings. So you go in here and you turn this off. Once you do have that turned off, you can go into the description and download the Fluster application. Once you do have it installed, go ahead and go into your settings and search for developer settings. Open this up and turn on the top option right here. When you click this, it will give you this menu right here. Go ahead and click on yes. This step is really important, so make sure you have turned this on. Once you've turned it on, go ahead and close out of that and launch the Fluster application. Go ahead and click on more info and click run anyway. At this point, Fluster will start downloading all of the applications necessary. So Fluster pretty much modifies your version of Roblox and it downloads a modified version. So it pretty much overwrites the original copy of Roblox and it makes Roblox think that it is currently on the latest version. So there we go. Once it does install, it can take around 30 seconds seconds to a minute once it does install you will see the fluster application right here once you do see it here go ahead and open that up and it will take you straight into roblox without asking for the update from here you can go ahead and log into your account so let's go ahead and do that now and there we go once you have logged in you can bring out any executor of your choice and go ahead and inject it into roblox so let's go ahead and open this up and go ahead and click on attach and that should attach into the game so let's go ahead and click attach again as you can see it does give me the error that it has already attached so let's go ahead and load into the game and try to execute a script and see if it does work. All right, here we go. We just loaded into a game. Let's go ahead and paste the script and click execute. And there we go. It does work without any issues whatsoever. Now, again, if you guys are struggling, you can join my Discord server, which will be linked down in the description for any help or support. You can also leave a comment down below and I will try my best to help everyone out. And with that being said, that is the end of the video. Hopefully you did like it. If you did, make sure to drop a like, subscribe to the channel. And as always, thanks for watching.